Did you know that concrete weighs nearly 4,000 pounds per cubic yard? And this truck can hold nearly 10 cubic yards of concrete. Well, today we're going to find out how concrete is made and look at some really unique ways of finishing it out. The finishing process we'll be looking at today is called stamped concrete. And believe me, you'll want to stick around and see the finished product. But first we're going to learn how they make the mud. That's what they call concrete in the building industry. And believe it or not, it's a fascinating process. Jack Shade manages this concrete plant owned by RMC Lone Star in Concord, California. So Jack, explain to me how concrete is made. Sure, Steve, it's, uh, it's made up of two components. One would be the paste and the other would be the aggregates. The paste itself is Portland cement and water which binds the aggregates, which would be the rock and the sand together, to form a rock-like substance that hardens because of the chemical reaction between the cement and the water itself. Like our driveways and sidewalks. Exactly. So tell me what happens here. We have trucks that come in and then uh, they come over and deposit the materials. Explain to me a little bit about what goes on with this, uh, this plant. Sure, okay. At this location, all of our aggregates are trucked in from a quarry, which is oh, approximately 10 miles away from here. Uh, what we do is we bring them in by bottom dumps. And what they do is they come into the plant and pull back around to the belting area. We then have them dump their loads into a grizzly and then run it up the belts into a material handling process, which we can either store the materials on the ground or run them up directly into the overhead bunker aggregate storage. The overhead bunker is the tallest structure at this concrete plant and contains eight separate storage bins. That's where the sand, and rock are stored before being loaded into the concrete mixing trucks. Since the cement must remain completely dry until the final mixing process, a hot air pump blows the cement from the truck into a storage bin that is connected to the overhead bunker. Inside the control room, computers are used to accurately weigh out each ingredient before it's loaded into the truck. Once all the materials have been loaded into the truck, the mixing of concrete begins. While the mixing process is underway, the driver of the truck adds water to get the concrete to the right consistency. While the concrete is being mixed, dye can be added in order to make different colored concrete. The dye being added here is actually going into the mix that will be used for the stamped concrete project we're about to show you. As you can see, the concrete being poured at this job site is slightly darker than normal. That's from the red dye that was added at the plant. For a stamped concrete project, the slab is poured and smoothed out, and a releasing agent is spread over the top. This fine dust not only adds more color to the concrete, it will also prevent the concrete from sticking to the rubber molds. The molds are carefully put into place and vigorously stamped to begin shaping the surface of the concrete slab. So Jack, this uh, stamp, it's made of uh, rubber or silicone? That's it, that's exactly what it is. And you'll notice the uh, indentations across it uh, pattern that of a slate. So they probably made this, took actual pieces of slate to actually cast this mold from? I would imagine so. So now we're gonna take this and they lay it down as we're seeing over here and they just uh, provide enough pressure on it to where it actually imprints this, this mold right into the, into the concrete. Yes, that's as simple as it is. So how long will it take them to do a typical uh, slab like this? Well, I would say this size area, it'd probably take them uh, to actually stamp the concrete itself uh, somewhere in the uh, range of 45 minutes to an hour. Well, I understand you can rent these stamps, but uh, sound, it looks to me like it takes a little bit more experience. It's not something that maybe your average do-it-yourselfer would, would set out to do on a Saturday morning. I would agree with you there. As the concrete workers make their way up the slab, you can see the slate pattern taking shape. There are a number of different patterns available in stamped concrete, including tile and cultured stone. The concrete is allowed to cure for a full week before the releasing agent is removed using a power washer. The slate pattern has added a lot of character to an otherwise plain slab of concrete. Depending upon where you live, the size of your project, whether you have dye added to the mix, concrete stamping will cost about 20% more than a regular slab. 
But if you're looking to add a little flair to a backyard patio, a walkway, or even your driveway, you might consider stamped concrete for your new house.